Hello all, welcome to Oracle, happy to have you, welcome and welcome back. Um, hopefully that you're doing well, wherever you are, you're taking care of yourself accordingly. I will be doing a collective general reading today. It's looking like it's going to be a little reading. Um, yeah, and I don't think, you know, I was actually in the midst of doing a reading for, that's going to be posted tomorrow morning. And once again, this energy started to um, creep out. And so I just kind of, luckily it was toward the end of the reading. So I'm going to let you know what I got and what's staring me dead in my face. And we're going to read that and see what that's about. Um, now, if you have any questions for me, uh, my information's in the description. Um, I'm also pushing out my last kind of, I guess, first batch of personals that people have requested for me. So be on the lookout for that if you requested for me. Um, know that you have to reach out to me first for a personal, that I'll never reach out to you to read you. Uh, if anyone ever reaches out to read you, it's likely a scam. So don't be scammed. Even if they have my face, please report that. I will never come to you. I always believe that the, that the person finds the reader, not the reader finds the person, okay? Um, so yeah, uh, I think that's it. Okay, so let's turn, let's jump to this prayer. All right. Woo! Father God, Mother Divine, Archangel Michael, please cover me and my collective as we, we receive these messages today. We only seek messages of your highest vibration, messages that you deem for us to receive. Any ill will or evil light energy sent our way, kindly remove and block that energy. Remove it, return it to its rightful owner, bind them in their own energy so it can never harm anyone again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. All right. All right. So it's been a busy day today. <laughs> so pardon me. Let me get my little iced coffee going. Oh. I was like, I have to do some coffee early in the morning. <laughs> I had an early morning today. I still have to, like, train myself to, like, Personally, I'm gonna just I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say this real quick because <laughs> this is not about the reading. This is like my own personal ish. All right. Um, if y'all interested, maybe uh, sometime in the future I can do more of a a Q and A about me. If you're interested um, for the future, I'd be happy to do that. Um, but I can kind of tell that something is coming to collective because I, my sleep's kind of getting funny, and I'm kind of in between worlds as well as far as like you know really walking down this track of a channeler in the world of a channeler and a spiritual advisor. And so I have to keep kind of reminding myself that, you know, when your body does these things that maybe you want to get up and start reading to see what's going on in the energy. <laughs> and I don't always do that. You know, sometimes it's just like, ah, I'll figure out in the morning. And sometimes, you know, that spirit saying, no, you need to get up and figure it out now. And so I'm still gelling with that. <laughs> And um, so, yeah, spirit, I, 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 I'm always appreciative for spirit's patience with me. <laughs> um, I'm not perfect in any stretch of, of the means whatsoever. Um, but, you know, I do listen. And at some point, I, I get it right. But it may not be the first time. <laughs> so, you know, maybe somebody needs to hear that, that it's fine to not feel like you're going to always do things right the first time. Sometimes you need another time. I could be speaking about a domestic, a domestic. Why does domestic keep popping up in my readings? I may be talking about a divine masculine. Okay, so let me show you what I got. What's looking at me? So this could be someone that is so so emotional about you right now. Okay. Every time they think of you, you, you. <laughs> But this person could be working on their material stability at this point in time. Um, this is someone that could, in your eyes, you could see this person as having no morals or compassion um, or being like possessed. Do you feel like they could have been possessed? Because it seemed as though they had no rules and that they weren't very positive. But it looks like that could have been when they were under the influence of something. That they may have displayed these clown behaviors to you. 
But this is someone that is um, realizing where their star lies, who holds their star. This person could be discovering their own inner gifts, but this person does miss your pillow talks. This person felt as though when they had access to you that you were their winning hand or they could just feel like you're really lucky and that you're on the road to to discovering your winning hand they could just they could want to be a part of it i do feel like this person looks at you as the light and that's what came up in my reading that's gonna be posted tomorrow morning that you are very much um you've had to have been you've had to be your light in darkness so i feel like this person knows that so in order for them to know that they may they had to have been aware of you in darkness so this person may know you or may have known you for a while um one two one as i'm recording this um yeah i feel like there's a lot of synchronicities that you may be noticing as it pertains to this person you can be seeing their name everywhere you could be kind of like um there could be just like a lot of things that remind you of this person um a lot of synchronicities interconnectedness um yeah the divine matrix is caught is you know <laughs> being real uh obvious to you right now it's like the veil has been lifted when it comes to a lot of different things for you but i think as it pertains to this connection for certain because i feel like here we got solitude is time to take action and act as if your partner is here and so this came up in my <laughs> Uh, self-development ring uh, for tomorrow morning. Um, and so, yeah, I feel like <laughs> you or this person is currently, or both of you are, and currently in this period of, of solitude, but that was exactly what Spirit had <laughs> intended for you guys to be in, so there y'all go. It does feel like, you know, with this new moon in Aries uh, energy, that this that is, Spirit is saying it's time to take action, okay? So, Emotions are running high because spirit has communicated to someone that it is time to take action. All right. So someone's trying to imagine, or you could be trying to imagine, or spirit is trying to communicate to y'all to act as though y'all have each other already. One, two, three. Because there has been a spiritual evolution between the two, between the pairs, and something is... Hmm. Let's say something is here. Heart of the matter. There's more going on that meets the eyes. And then we got speak the language of love. And so we see these like two um, beings here. They look really young. So there's something here about like maybe you met this person when you were young. Maybe you grew up with this person. Um, regardless, it's something about inner child healing that you guys have activated within each other. Um, and once this comes back together, the intention is to speak the language of love. 35 could be significant. If this card says loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. All right. So someone's hoping that their words with you really can transform the situation for the better. Um, transform the situation in their, uh, in their favor. They're hoping that in the end, they do have the winning hand when it comes to you. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. You know, um, Holy Spirit, show me the energy of the person on my collective's mind. Show them, show my collective, the person on their mind, their energy as it stands today. What does their energy stand today as it pertains to my collective? Ooh. <laughs> the emperor they're staying on they stand on business when it comes to the collective all right so someone's ready to oh got three of cups someone's got their someone's ready to <laughs> this person's an authoritarian they could be a father in real life or they could just kind of come across as very fatherly but um, this is Papa Bear getting off 
getting off their throne and the emperor don't just get off the throne so this is like someone that feels specifically motivated to take the reins on something as it pertains to this getting back together or reunion or you know three of cups can mean a multitude of things um it could mean third parties it can mean your ancestor's child, it could mean a celebration and getting together, it could mean friends, it could mean lovers, it could mean so many things, child. But for me in this reading right here, this feels like a connection, a reunion, a union, a, uh, a reconnect. Yeah. Because someone feels like they caused delay by being too cocky. There was something they're really cocky about. And so you can also see that in the Emperor card too. You know, it could be good or evil, you know. Um, so, you know, the Emperor can be uh, aggressive. It, they can be commanding. And that could be a positive or negative depending on what the situation is or depending on whether this person is high, acting in uh, their high vibration or acting through shadow. It really just kind of depends. But yes, this person was cocky. This person was a bit, you know, um, I say foolish. They allowed their energy to be scattered. And so there's a lot of cups here. They feel a lot of emotions for you. But this person could have had an alcohol problem. I see a lot of cups and I see a lot of lifestyle. They could have, they could have a drinking. They could have had... A drinking issue. This person fought off the dream come true. Um, or they could be feeling like you're fighting them off when they feel like you're the dream come true. But you're really just standing your ground. Um, but I feel like this person in order to move this connection forward, they would have to stand their ground and really hold this love where it needs to be. And that's what they're looking into right now in Herman mode. They're looking into their beliefs and what kind of caught them up. You know, what is it that was it was it really worth them defending these beliefs if all it does is lead them to need to go in and and hermit, you know, because they fear you know, sometimes we need to go into hermit to to reassess and to figure things out. But sometimes it could be a comfort zone where we just kind of run away from things in hermit. We run to hermit to, just to not deal with things. And this person's trying to figure out if is that what I'm doing here. Yeah, it's looking at that's exactly what they're doing. It's like this person could be utilizing hermit mode just to allow themselves to be stuck in analysis paralysis. In that way, it's like they won't have to make a move. They can just allow themselves to be self-imposed in, in this restriction. Allow themselves to be stuck in victim mentality. And ultimately, that creates a villain. So, you know, this person needs to get out of the space. They need to transition. They need to allow themselves to go with the flow, to grow, and to give what they what they plan to receive. You know, the thing is that we can have all these wants and desires, but it's like, how are we investing into that? How are we adding into that? Are we letting people know? Are we letting? Um, are we? How are we prepping for that? Um, Yeah, especially if it involves other people. We got two other people here. So maybe this person um, gave in a situation, gave more to a situation before that came out to nothing. And so they may be apprehensive about um, giving again. But they desire you. So it's like, what do you expect? Um Okay, so that's the energy of this person. <laughs> it's like they're looking to take control, but I'm not certain if... Where they are as far as being healed, If I'm not sure if they're still bullheaded. Um, 
Okay. What's show me the emotional state of this emperor? Show me the emotional state of this emperor, Holy Spirit. Okay. Okay. We got temperance. So someone's getting balanced out. Someone's healing. All right. Yeah. In hermit mode, they're healing. Um, we also got a hierophant here. Wow. This is actually quite a powerful combination. To see these together like this. When I asked, like, what's their emotional state? They're being worked on. They're in their spiritual workshop. We got the temperance there. You know, they're healing themselves with temperance. You know, and they're in hermit mode, reassessing things, reassessing their behaviors and reassessing um, their beliefs, deciding whether or not what helped them and what harmed them, what needs to stay, what needs to go. Um, and they can't help but come across thoughts of you in that process and how they how they how they came across to you. There's a right there. Okay, all right. Um, okay, how does my collective feel about this person? How does my collective feel about this emperor? Show me my collective's feelings on this emperor, Holy Spirit. Ooh, 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 you got a lot of feelings about them. Okay, I said like for some of y'all, like y'all do want to reunite with this person, but you do wonder whether this person energy is still scattered but I do feel like this is a wish fulfillment for you but you also and, and you know it's kind of sad it's, it's like you do feel like this person is wish fulfillment but you also kind of are prepared to defend yourself if this person is coming with, with like BS or The thing is about the seven, I, this came up in my reading that I just wrapped up. That's going to be tomorrow morning. Um, the thing about this, because this card came out, seven of wands came out in that reading. The thing about this is that you're defending yourself at an elevated state in this card. So the things that are kind of like causing um, any kind of imposition toward you is like things that are below you in this card. It's like all those wands that's coming for this person are all below them. Okay, so it's like this energy of like, yeah, this person is your wish fulfillment, but if they haven't figured out a way to raise their vibration to meet you at eye level, at eye level, then you're ready to defend yourself. This person needs to be in student mode, they need to be receptive to, to learning and not feeling like they know everything, because they definitely could have been in that energy of knowing everything in this emperor mode. But I feel like with all this other energy, like the hair font and temperance and hermit, it's making me feel a lot better about this emperor energy. Like this really does feel like someone that's just getting in that mode of time for action. So this is someone that's preparing for to head in the direction of what they desire, what they want to really to really claim that like a boss would and not just allow things to just this person could have been really stuck in this mode of just oh things have to come to me, but it's like you desire this. Says this is your this is your love and this is your feeling. And it has to come to me, and it's just like well, what are you willing to fight for? You know, <laughs> um, and maybe every leader needs to come to that realization. Like, well, what what are your standards and what are you willing to fight for? And I feel like this emperor has realized that this is. You're willing, you are someone they want to fight for. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, because you're the love of their life. Queen of Cups. You see how many games they play? This is the love of their life. <laughs> they love you so deeply, Queen of Cups. And, you know. They're hoping that they're praying and hoping that you haven't turned off your heart light for them. That there can still be the sense of success with you. Okay. And a new beginning. They want to take they wanna 
experience this new cycle with you. They could be seeing you in your new cycle, and yeah, they could be seeing you in a new cycle, getting the success. They could see you because the six of wands, people could see. They can be there's like faces that you barely see in the six of wands. But they're like on the ground looking at this person on the horse. So it's like it's something that can be seen. You can be viewed. Your new era, your new cycle can be viewed by people. This person wants to, yeah, you're spreading your wings and you've flown. You're flying. This person wants to be a part of your new beginning. They want to be part of your new beginning because they know that something's already ended between you guys. This connection is already there's already been an ending. <laughs> so this person. 10 to the 8. But they're still stuck on this ending. They want to be part of your new beginning, but they're still stuck on the ending. They keep replaying it. They need to, spirits ask them to transition and move beyond it. But they get stuck. Spirit wants them to move beyond it. Spirit wants them to forgive themselves. Forgive yourself, man. Move beyond this. Get out of your head. They get stuck. But the thing is, they're optimistic. There's this, you know, there is a stuck energy with the nine of, of wands, but it also was this energy of, okay, let's just muster up everything we got because this is the end of a cycle. This person is at the end, end of a cycle. We could definitely see that with the nines. So... You're approaching... Your start of a cycle, or you're in the midst of your new cycle, and this person's coming toward the end of a cycle, and so this person's wondering if these belts can meet. What's this person's plan as it pertains to my collective Holy Spirit? What's this person's plans as it pertains to my collective Holy Spirit? What's this person's plans? Five of Cups. There's still a lot of regret, regret here, but the thing about the fives is that they're always temporary. Yeah, this person can't decide. This person's going to be... This it could be a missed opportunity um, if this person delays it due to negative patterns. There could be a fear of um, them needing to sacrifice something in order, in order to bring something to you in order to <sighs> meet you face to face. We got judgment here. Judgment being called as it pertains to someone's decision making because someone's being really um, stubborn here. Mm, I see two people being stubborn here. This person could still be kind of caught up in a situation with this Queen of Wands in the reverse. We got the King of Wands and King of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Well, what can my collective expect as pertains to this colorless person? What can my collective expect? King of Wands. Well, you know, rather this is someone new or old, my darlings, it's a fiery energy that's coming your way. And this is someone that is healed. This is someone, I don't know, like, it. this could be a choice between two. It's all going to be different for everybody. It's going to be up to you. Uh, but it, someone's ready to work here. Someone's ready to work with you. And they're healed. So I don't know if this is soulmate energy. I don't know if this is some person that's in new energy. I don't know. I don't care. It's going to be different for everybody. Okay? Um, but this is a fiery figure. This is a boss. This is someone who's a visionary. This is a born leader. This is someone who's magnetic. They're fine. They're beautiful because they're the one. So they're definitely... You have to have a sense of confidence within your own self to 
to engage in a situation with this person because this person is confident within themselves because they're healed and they're working and functioning on all cylinders. I do kind of get soulmate from this vibe. It's almost like, you know, whatever struggles that you may have had in situations before, there's something about this energy that it feels like it's already like functioning and ready to work ready to work with you like they're not it's not about dragging and waiting and it's like oh i'm ready hey what's your name you know it's like that this person could pop up out of nowhere it's very fiery it's very wands right like this person could just come out of nowhere um yeah this person's gonna give to you exactly the way you give back this person's gonna be very it's gonna be mutually mutually exclusive but you may have some doubts here <laughs> You may be a little apprehensive. Why? Mm. Because of something that may have been left behind? Some of y'all are going to be kind of stuck on what was canceled here due to someone else's repressed emotions and disappointment in their choices. Um, hmm. This is going to be different for everybody. This is looking a little crazy today. Yeah. It's looking a little crazy today. I can see why this person is so emotional. Um, I feel like this person can feel you pulling away from them. Yeah. But they're just like not speaking. This is definitely feeling like a no contact. Um, yeah. Yeah. This person could be holding on to their finances as well. Um, but they're definitely being a bit stingy with their energy. They're blocking change. They're blocking change, but while they're doing that, something's coming in for you. It's going to be an opportunity that's going to make you very happy with that sun card there. Yeah, an opportunity. I don't, I don't, somebody's gonna be in the King of Wands, King of Cups. So, <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I'm about to tag about this energy because it's a little bit chaotic. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of dangling here on this map. There's a lot of dangling here. There's not a lot of feminine energy in the midst here. Um, so what do we got? Gosh. We got the Emperor that showed up. We got the King of Wands that showed up. And now we got the King of Cups. Like we got a lot of there's a lot of dangling on the <laughs> I'm gonna have to be real. I'm gonna have to be real with y'all. And I love this. I actually love this. So it's going to be different for everybody, okay? <laughs> it's going to be different for everybody. It's different folks for different folks. Wait, well, hold on. Different strokes for different folks, okay? So don't be getting in the comments talking about any preconceived notions because only take what works for you and leave the rest for everybody, anybody else, okay? Just, you know, take what what, eat the fish and spit the bones, right? Okay, so for some of y'all, it's gonna be different. Okay, for some of y'all, this is someone that is um, perhaps someone that you're familiar with, but perhaps somebody from the past is showing up a new energy, but they have to show up a new energy because <laughs> if they're showing up a new energy, that kind of lets you know, okay, green light, you got the green light, baby. If they're showing up an old energy and you're gonna know it not by what they say, but how you feel. This person can't hide ish from you. I feel that. And I feel like I'm talking to you naturally 
in tune people because you're here on my channel. I'm talking to illuminators and oracles, child. And, you know, illuminators, oracles, or intuitives. Like, I know I'm talking to y'all. <laughs> so, it's not just about how what people say, it's also about how you feel when you're in presence with them, how you feel when you look them in their eyes, it's gonna tell you the tale whether or not it's legit or not. Um, I can't even want to tell you that. You know, you know, <laughs> Don't ask my neighbor, come to me. Never ask the friends I hang around. <sighs> Don't be afraid, come to me. You'll find I love you. Come to me. Don't be afraid of what you see. Ah, you'll find I love you. I love that song. What is that? Emotion. That's one of my favorite groups. Emotions. Um, don't ask my neighbor. So, yeah, don't ask nobody else. You only believe your own intuition when it comes to this. Okay. Um, so, it could be that. Okay. Um... It could also be choices. Some of y'all are in this energy of like, you know what, bump this. I'm going to exercise my choice in free will. And so y'all may um, take your time to decide. You know, so that's going to be for somebody. Some of y'all may take a little time to decide to really get, you know, uh, a handle on your options there to see what truly fits and grooves with you and what doesn't. Okay. That's for somebody. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because whoever belonged to that last story, it's like there's something here where it's like you may be just sick and tired of complication. Because the thing is, what came up with my that reading that was personal development reading is that we are our own conductors in our lives and we dictate like, you know, uh, what fits in our life and what doesn't. So everybody gets to decide that we all get our free will. And so I feel like if something is just too complicated for you, you're probably not going to do it because <laughs> why, you know, if people can't figure out how to make things easier for you, <laughs> in the way that you would make things easier for them. If somebody, if you know, all you're able to do and all you've done to make people feel either super comfortable around you or hospitable around you, you know what compromises and sacrifices you would do when it came to things that you desire and you love, okay? So if people aren't able to match that energy with you, queen of cups, <laughs> I think you're understanding. I think you you know what to sniff out now due to experience, due to wisdom, right? Um, if people can't exercise that same level of sacrificial love <laughs> and making just the magic happen because you're a magical figure, you're a magical being, you can make anything just happen. If people can't showcase that level of magic toward you, then that says a lot to you too. It's like you want to meet, you want to be with someone that meets your magic. Not only meets your efforts, but meets your magic. Meaning, okay, this is the situation as we know it to be. Okay. Then how can we control it? How can we take control? Okay. So it's not about being bullheaded. It's not about doing, it has to be my way. It's about figuring out collectively what is the way. And so you may just have to decide like what energy fits to you. I'm not going to be the one to tell you which one it is. <laughs> no, I won't. I will not. I will not. I got to figure out my own stuff. Look, we all have to figure out things for ourselves. The only thing I'm here to do is to present different energies and ideas, you know, <laughs> and you as the conductor decide what fits and what doesn't. It doesn't have to be a whole exchange or debate because I'm not in control of your life and you shouldn't allow nobody to be in control. All right, because you're breaking free. And that was the entire, that's, you know, <laughs> anything that doesn't add on or, um, let's see, let's see here. 
anything that doesn't advance your uh, your breaking free level that you at right now, it can't it can't fit. It can't fit. It can't fit. I it seems to me like a, a King of Wands would match that energy. An Emperor is all the king, so you know he can match that energy. And Queen King of Cups is you know a, an emotionally mature person. They may not be very communicative, but they definitely are. They definitely allow themselves to feel emotions um, maturely or on a, a mature space. And that literally is. <laughs> would be a match for you emotionally so i don't know what that is or who that is for you whoever this is is someone that is spying on you <sighs> and trying to figure out the right opportunity but with this knight of pentacles it could have been something that took a while because this person allowed themselves to be just indecisive they allowed delays. They thought they believed in false prophecies about whether or not this would even work. And they feared sacrifice. So I do feel like uh, it looks like for a lot of y'all, it was your match. This could have been your twin that stalled or your heart. Yeah. For some of y'all, this could have been a twin that stalled a situation and spirit could be pushing your soulmate to you. Because like I said, there's a lot of dinglings on the board. I don't know why I keep saying it like that. Because there's a lot. And then we got more. Because now we got the King of Swords. There's a lot of daylight here. Like, I. <laughs> I... If you ain't noticed by now, I'm a homosexual male. I've never complained about that. I've never been. I've never. I... I've never been. I've never been. <laughs> I've over there ever. I've only ever experienced one at a time. You know, I've never been, you know, um, in throuples or groups. But um, because I'm an energetic person, I just there's this only so much energy I can do at one time, child. But um, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of masculine energy here. So now we got the King of Swords here. So we got all the Kings here. So it really could just be someone that is graduating to. Ooh, this could be someone that's graduating to Emperor through your efforts, through your energy, through your lessons that you're teaching them. That's exactly what it could be because we literally got all the kings now. Wow. This is this tale of someone. This is the tale of you. This is the tale of a queen of cups that's graduating. For some of y'all, this is the tale of a queen of cups that's graduating a masculine energy, a divine masculine energy into an emperor. Because we got all of them here. Unless these are just all these different men. <laughs> all these different options. But I don't. I feel like they're representing a person. A, a, one person. I feel like some person is turning into the emperor. We got cups, swords, wands. Oh, we're missing pentacles. Uh, what happened here? Did I bump something? <laughs> I don't know what happened here. All right, so what we're missing here is Pentacles. So this is likely someone that's working on their finances, working on their stability right now. Um, and that could be what's going to make them the Emperor, or the last step they need in order to, I don't know, complete what they need to complete, but it's all about how they want to be perceived when it comes to your eyes. Because Emperor came out first. So they want you to see them as an Emperor. And throughout this reading, we kind of get to see like what this process may have been like for them. But the thing is, is that the first king that showed up what was after the Emperor was Wands. So this person was bullheaded. This person was egotistical and kind of and needed things to kind of move toward them, likely because they're very attractive or very used to things kind of just working in their favor, and that's what they expected to happen. It didn't happen, okay? And so that could have got them in their emotions. Then Queen of Cups, Queen, King of Cups showed up, right? So it could have got them in their emotions about that, but it, it allowed them to be contemplative, to really think this through on an emotional level, to really be 
uh, emotionally mature because they weren't matching your energy in the cups, right? They weren't actually in the energy of being a suitable counterpart for you despite being a match. Um, and it could be due to how they were with you. Maybe they were too cold. You know, maybe they um, came across as being too disconnected, too aloof. Maybe they came across as being too, you know, heaven may care or whatever that saying is. Like, um, like a laissez-faire, um, unenthused kind of energy. It's like the... was presenting themselves to you in this energy. So it's going to be different for everybody. I don't really know. Um, let's see here. This is um, could have been a player. They get this person as a, a, a present player or a past player. Someone that says that they regret putting you on ice. So, okay, yeah. They could have been dealing with addictions. They were definitely stuck in cycles with that stale waters there. They were definitely like um, replaying cycles over and over again. And that's what caused the delay. Um, I've never been that happy than within your energy. So they didn't feel like they could match you in your energy. But this person says that they know that you're their person. This person is becoming an emperor for you, though. Are they? Am I reading that right, Holy Spirit? Yes, because they got deep feelings. And this person wants you to trust in me, Etta James. Tell me more about this person, Holy Spirit. What does the person want to communicate to my collective? What does this person want to communicate to my collective? This person's looking at their, they, this person's having an awakening. Um, uh, and they're asking themselves, like, when will my reflection show who I am inside? So this person is definitely having, um, or had, identity issues with that Mul that Mulan song um, but this is someone that's gaining their personal power by doing that they're getting a sense of their personal power by doing just that what else does this person want to communicate to my collective you feel so good to this person body mind and soul this person says they need you alone so they are they are thinking of you in a very um it's not just a loving way but also in in desiring they're desiring you and they're feeling ashamed um it feels awful how they treated you february could be significant or have been significant to this person this person says, don't leave your panties on around me. So they're definitely thinking of you um, sexually. But yeah, this person is definitely undergoing uh, extreme transformation. It's a wrap for whatever um, was keeping them or, or holding them in, de in this energy of delay or distraction is, is death to that. It's a wrap. Uh, and it says, hello, beginnings. So this person's in this energy of hello, beginnings. Funny how time flies when you're having fun. You get sweet kisses. You're gonna know that this is your person if the time that you spent with them it was almost like time never mattered. Like it was like time did something real interesting when you guys were ever together. Like it didn't matter. Maybe you guys even felt like you were in your own like little bubble sometimes, but not like a, a bubble that was suffocating, but just something that just felt protected. Um, if that's the energy that you felt with this person, that this is the person for you.
This person wants to take you away. They're saying, let's get away. Hey, let's get away. Let's go away to another side of town. Um, oh, so this is someone in the past who was a great pretender. But I believe in you, Sticker. Um, with this in the upright, this is someone who is currently still in the energy of a great pretender, and you cannot believe in them. But in the reverse, this is someone that was in the energy of a great pretender. But this is someone that now you can believe in because they had, you know, death or just endings. You know, there's been a transformation, you know. And I feel like it was due to your um, influence. This person says that you bring out the highest version of them. Possibly by being soft and gentle with them. They love how you are with them. Um, yeah, they love how you are with them. They say, leave your heels on with the lipstick there. They could love, they could love your lips. They could love what you put on your lips as well. Or the, the colors, if you do wear color on your lips, they could love that color. Um, but yeah, this is drawing me to the lips. So just in general, even if you don't wear um, lipstick or anything. There's something that is remind me of the lips, also with an L there. Um, so I think they're really drawn to your lips. All right. Hmm. What can my collective expect from this person? What can my collective expect from the person in this emperor? What can my collective expect? Um. Nothing today. <laughs> Look how I fell in my hair. It says not today. Not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call or person, boundaries, still angry. So this, okay. And then taking a chance. But not showing hand. Someone's not showing their hand. It's a secret. Someone's not showing their hand, but at the bottom of the deck. I don't know. Ooh, but Spirit's saying universal timing on this one. Because something's still being cleared out in this person's world. But it's going to be. Or it has already. It's like this person could still be dealing with like the after effects of something. Yeah. And then there's going to be this clarity of truth once that, once there's an exit stage left to whatever is being left behind. What does this person want to say to my collective Holy Spirit? Mm. I hope that you can forgive me one day. This person wants to tell you how they feel. And with that King of Cups, they're going to. It's going to spill out. This person says that they want you. You can definitely see that in the energy. <laughs> they said they can't stop thinking about you. Um, oh, it's making me think of um, <clears throat> I can't stop thinking about you. Um, Lenny Kravitz. Uh, I'm thinking of you and all the things that you wanted me to be. Well, I'm trying now. Oh, girl, I'm thinking of you and all the things that you wanted me to be. Well, I'm trying now. That's the lyrics. Um, yeah, this person's thinking about you. They're thinking about all the ways that they, not necessarily all the ways that you wanted them to be, but all the ways that they know they deserve you to receive in a lover is what they're really talking about in that song to me. Or at least how I'm feeling right now in this reading, like this person, um, they know what you deserve. It's never something that you have to tell them. It's like they know, they knew it. That's why they want us so bad to show up as the emperor because they already know that you're the empress and that you <laughs> not only worked your way up to this level, but you simultaneously is working this person up to their emperor status while attaining your emperor status. It really is quite brilliant. <laughs> but it's like spirit is saying, you know, you it's, you have to fight for what you want, you know. Even if you feel like you're fighting, 
in your world. There's this energy of like, you know, utilize your resources in the 21st century. Maybe in past lives, when it came to dealing with our our mates, because these are ancient lovers I, I read on. I just knew it. Maybe in past lives before we had to depend on letters. We had to depend on that man, that the, the knights that would ride on the horses to get messages. You know, we have to depend on these things. We have to depend on our resources. We have to depend on our locations. And, you know, it was a lot easier to not hear from somebody for a year or a month at a time, child, you know. But we live in the 21st century. And that's the thing is that that's why in a lot of ways this time is a much better time than the past could ever hold because of what we have access to. And a lot of people are utilizing those things. So if people, if a person decides not to utilize the resources that they have in current times to change a dynamic, to make it work in their favor, to chase what they desire, then that is a choice. Not deciding is deciding. And that's what this person has to contend with or they're contending with, they're realizing now. Because once upon a time it was safe, they thought in their head it would, was the safest bet not to decide, not to engage, just back away. But with this King of Cups in the mix here, it's like it doesn't matter what you decide to do or what you decide to say because the emotions are there anyway. I think that's it. I think, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Until next time, if you like the vibe, please like and subscribe. Peace out, y'all.